Were you alive for the moon landing? That's one small step for man. I certainly wasn't. But if you missed out last time around, your next chance might be just around the corner. This is Artemis, NASA's plan to return to the moon and stay there. It's made up of three separate missions. The first orbiting without a crew, the second orbiting with a crew, and finally landing on the surface. The destination? The lunar south pole. This is a region that's never been explored before, other than by orbiting satellites. Those satellites have uncovered a secret, the most valuable resource known to humanity, water. The water exists as ice inside craters that never see sunlight, making them some of the coldest regions in the solar system. The presence of water means that we can keep astronauts alive with the resources that are already there, rather than rocketing them from Earth at great cost. The water can also be used to make fuel to power habitats, rovers and more. But why the moon? Well, there's a lot of science left to learn there. The moon's cratered surface can tell us about the early solar system, including the origin of Earth's water, and therefore life. Plus, the missions are a crucial first step to getting astronauts to Mars, a much longer and more treacherous journey. So, where to from here? It all starts with a rover, the Volatiles Investigating Polar Exploration Rover, or VIPER. In 2023, this little buggy will hitch a ride on a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket to explore the Nabile region around Relay Crater. The location was chosen because Earth is easily visible, meaning direct communication. Plus, there's plenty of sunlight to power the rover while still being close to those permanently shadowed craters. Viper is about the size of a golf cart and will carry a range of spectrometers along with a regolith and ice drill. The goal is to explore those shadowed craters to confirm the presence of water along with other volatiles like ammonia, carbon dioxide and methane. Unlike rovers on Mars, Viper will be controlled almost in real time by scientists on Earth. Its findings will inform future Artemis missions, making a sustainable presence on the Moon possible. And it's hard to talk about the Moon without mentioning the Lunar Gateway, a proposed space station that would permanently orbit the Moon. This will be a long-term outpost for humanity, with contributions from Japan, Canada and the European Space Agency. It'll have a habitat for visiting astronauts and serve as a port for future deep space missions. We are on the verge of a new space age, and the Moon is the first stop.